This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. This is all made with your voice. Hook up my mic. Hello? First thing we're gonna do is set up a vocal channel with basic processing. I'm using the Waves plugins for my vocal. This is what I've always used, but it's essentially just an EQ and a compressor. First thing you wanna do is put a gate. Hello, oh, so that your voice comes through, but there's no extra noise. I wanna shout out Chime for this technique. He does it in Logic. I'm gonna show y'all how to do it in Ableton. It doesn't work through vocoders or resonators. It's a little bit more convoluted. Now this is technically a stock plugin, but it's only available in Ableton Live Suite. So you have to have Max for Live, and the plugin is called Convolution Reverb Pro and that's what we'll be using. It's an artificial reverb, and it's way warmer, it's more natural than other reverbs. The way it works is it uses an audio file called an impulse response, and this adds more color and space than a traditional reverb. In other words, it creates reverb from an audio file. Even me just saying it, there's probably things going off in your head being like, yo, this has crazy sound design potential. So what we're essentially gonna be doing is running my vocal chain through this convolution reverb and then using an impulse response or an audio file to sample it because it is my never ending journey to combine two sounds that don't normally go together. I did it with the vocoder. Now I have found this convolution reverb. It allows for a lot more experimentation. So many different ways to use it. Once you figure out how this works, before you know it, you're gonna have a released song. Did you say you're ready to release some music? <laughs> Who are you? Have you heard of DistroKid? Hmm. Don't they take a cut? No! You keep every single cent. No splits with labels, no splits with publisher. That's money. But I'm not even signed. Experience the power of being an independent artist. And I see some doubt, but you're not just uploading to Spotify. Look at all these stores. Even, even TikTok? Even TikTok. Even. Instagram music? Yup! And even soundtrack for Twitch, you know what that means. You're, uh, you're a streamer, your music can be played on stream without being DMCA. Let's go! But it says $19.95 a year, I don't know. No, no, but just use my VIP link. Boom, it's in the description. Boom, it's also on the screen. And you save 7% off of your first year. Damn, can't be that easy. But it can. I haven't even finished the song yet. We just got started. Oh, my be. I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to it then. Jeez. Still here if you need me. Thank you, DistroKid, for sponsoring this video. They really are the best way to distribute your music when you're ready to do that. So it's kind of like a vocoder, but we're gonna use my voice as an input, and then the convolution reverb is gonna act as our sampler and carrier. Let's make our carrier. We'll make a MIDI channel, and this will act as sample... Number one, we're gonna try some different things. I'm just gonna put serum in, and then pick a super saw. Some chords, so that we have some kind of melodic element. I'm gonna do a G major nine. And we're gonna make it really short, actually. And that's our sample. So we're gonna resample this to audio, and the fastest way I found to do that is by freezing the track. We're gonna make a new audio channel. Control click and drag it down so we duplicate. And that's the sample. Next thing we do is we bring this sample into our convolution reverb. And now. And as you can hear, while I'm talking into the mic, it's now running through the sample that we picked. And the best way to do it is with like swishes and lots of white noise. And then once you have that, we go ahead and we can hit record and we just go wild. Let's just do different noises and whooshes. Next thing you know, we have a lot of different samples to choose from. 
And we can even change the decay. And then we make another new track and call this our main bass. We freeze this one, and then we can start chopping it up onto a new track like a vocal chop. That's a good start, but we can do a lot of cool different things even before the convolution reverbs. Another thing that works really well is the frequency shifter. Start experimenting with the frequency knob. Then you start getting some really cool different harmonics. OTT on it is gonna bring it out even more. We can group this all and then we have an awesome chain now. And then the idea is to take all of these little samples and sounds that you made, freeze it of course, and then start making something with it. Just going through. We have a lot of different things that we can put in now. And if you're sick of that, you can always take a bass sound or something. And if you bring that in, then you start getting a lot of different things too. And these bass sounds will all be available on Patreon, so you can grab those from there. And I'm like, dang, that could totally be a fill or something. And of course, this is, this is me not even doing anything yet to it, but I like these ones here. So here's how I use this technique in an upcoming release. I've got the chopped up version over here. Using the same technique and using a lot of different samples, especially in the second part of the drop here. As you can hear, that's very similar to the super saw that we had. I've even got the auto pan to give it a bit more rhythm. I have layered it with a super saw progression so that there's some kind of melodic backbone to it. And I also added bass. Added some fills. Of course, if you want to go more in depth with this technique, Chime has this video available on his Patreon. So go check that out. Go give him some love. He is amazing. Super nice guy. Please like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. If you learned something, shout out to all the true homies. You keep me creating these videos. Follow me on my socials. I see your DMs. But other than that, that's going to be it for today. And it ended up sounding like this. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.